Yotas, so once over here. It's first time out this year. It's uh, early September. I'm just gonna give it a check over. We got the conies up front, they're looking good. Looks like there might be some sort of brake fluid leak. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. I'll take the wheels off. Got, looks pretty good. I'll give it a clean. This camber compensator from back in the day. My dad bought that from Al Constantino a long time ago. Yeah, a little weeping on the transmission. I guess that's pretty normal. An old car. Brake lines are still nice and flexible. These Tonys were on my dad's 850 Spider when I was growing up. They had about 100,000 miles on them and we sent them out to get restored in Hilliard, Ohio at Tony America. They did a nice job. They came back looking brand new. Everything looks pretty good. A little bit of rust here. I have a little coolant leak. That's pretty normal until it warms up and then it's fine. So we've given it a bit of a clean, wiped things down. That way I can keep track of any new leaks or anything that's keep track of things. All in all, it's pretty good. I suppose a little bit of oil here and there on an Italian car isn't a bad thing. Got these powder coated down at Race Metal Smiths a couple years ago in White River. And not only do they look great, but they really clean up nice. We do have a slight little leak down here. Don't use brakes too hard. It only has about 2,000 miles on it since its restoration. All right, so I uh, cleaned up the wedges, cleaned up the brake rotor a little bit, uh, repainted sandblast and repainted that carrier. So I'll wait until that's a little bit dry and we'll put that on. Meantime, we'll go to the other side and do the same. Okay, we got this side cleaned up. We got the wedges out, wire brushed and cleaned, even filed the burrs off and put some grease on there and put some anti-rattle pins in there. Those were missing. And uh, yeah, I think we're good to go on this side. So we'll do the same thing on the other side.
This is taking a lot more time than I thought. Why go through so much trouble for steel wheels? I mean, really, you could get some alloys or something. Well, these are actually OTAS wheels. They're not Abarth deep dish or anything. They're unique to the OTAS. They've got the standard steel hubcap retainers, although these cars, many of them didn't come with hubcaps. And uh, they're just cool. I've never seen another set. So uh, there you go.